Hello, seven and play all around learners. For this video, we will be learning the song entitled Holy Forever by Jen Johnson. Yeah, it is the key signature of F for all parts of the song, and we will discuss more of this as we go on with the topics and the theory on this first learning video that uh, we talk about single to double letters playing. So this will be focusing more on this playing, single to double. The chords will be discussed with the other learning video. So take note, this will be single to double letters playing only of this specific song. Now for the drummers, yeah, we got links sent for you, whether you're a beginner or uh, an intermediate or advanced drummer, we've got links prepared for you as this learning video is targeting more of the single to double letters playing, more of melodic playing. So drummers, again, we got all the links ready for you on our group. But if you'd like, for those who are really, really advanced drummers, if you'd like to learn another instrument, you can continue watching this video and participate. Whether you choose an instrument such as piano, guitar, bass guitar, ukulele, violin, and other instruments that produce sound or melody, you can join the discussion for the topics in this video. Now let's get to the theory, the main theory of playing single to double letters for this song. Now this is the core concept that we will be following whenever we play single or double letters for, for various songs. Now let's always look at it. It's the same with the English alphabet. It has an A, B, C, D, E, F, only up to G, and then it goes back to A. No more H, I, J, it's A to G, coming back again to A. Now, if you could see the construction of the letters, all of the letters have a skip, okay? It skips except for E and F and B and C. Take note of that, E and F, B and C, there are, uh, there are no skips for this two letters group. But the rest, we got a skip or a black key for uh, the piano, but for other instruments, it's a skip. So C, it skips going D, skips going E, but E and F has no skip. F to G has a skip, G to A has a skip, A to B, but B and C and E and F doesn't have a skip. So take note of this. If you'd like to take a screenshot on this graph, uh, you'll be it will be useful whenever uh, we will apply this on uh, the song or our instruments. So let's continue. And for uh, this next uh, concept, now you see sharps and flats. Now sharps and flats, it might uh, like sound difficult or, or hard, but these are just symbols that you use to identify the skips or for the piano, the black keys. So when you have a C here, remember this is skip in all of the letters except for E and F and going B and C. So for C, the skip between C and D, it's C sharp if you refer to C going to the right. But if you refer to D going to the left or going down, it's D flat. C to the right or going up is C sharp. D to the left or going down is D flat. And same thing goes with the other letters. We got a D sharp or E flat. We got an F sharp or a G flat. G sharp or, a, or an A flat or A sharp or a B flat. And again, if you'd like to take a screenshot on this uh, theory, on this concept, you can do so. Or if you'd like to pause the video or if, you, if you'd like to uh, refer to this picture, you can do so. And uh uh, remember to take a quick look and a uh, good understanding of this concept. Now let's move. Let's see how it is applied to the piano or how it looks like if you play it with the piano. Now remember the letters, there have no skips for E and F and B and C. But the rest 
have skips. So if you could see, C has a black key in between C and D. D and E has a black except for E and F and B and C. All right, E and F and B and C. The rest, it goes with a skip. F to G, there's a black skip. G to A, there's a black skip. And the rest of them, it keeps repeating the cycle. So just remember the concept a while ago, and this one is applied on the piano. Now, if we proceed, this is how it looks like with the sharp and the flat. So C here, we got a C sharp on the right side or going up. But if we refer to D, we got a D flat. And same thing goes with the other letters. Again, you can take a screenshot on this concept so that you be able to uh, bring it with you whenever you need to pull out this picture. So F and G, A and B, all have skips. C and D, D and E. So we have the flats and the sharps for them. But for E and F and for B and C, there are no skips. Remember that concept. Now, let's apply this with the guitar, bass, ukulele, or violin. Now, these are all stringed instruments. So let's see how it looks like. The piano might look different, but they have the same concept. And for guitar, bass, ukulele, violin, we will still apply the same concept for these instruments. Okay, so it goes like this. For violin and for guitar and ukulele, bass also will have a limit on this string. But uh, before I'll go more on the details, uh, we will remember that the guitar, the so that you will be able to follow this position, you need to have this first position on the guitar where it faces away from you or it faces backward. Now, you'll be turning it upside down or you turn it towards you so it will look like this. Okay, the thick strings will go down and the thin strings will be left on top. Same thing goes with the ukulele, where the ukulele will be facing uh, backward, uh, like, like the facing back, and then you will turn it upside down, turn it towards you, so that you will see the strings look like this. The thick strings will go on the lower part, and the thin strings will go on the higher part, so that you could follow, for those who have their instruments with them now, you could follow how we will be playing them with the letters. And also for violin, it looks like this. Just go upright position and you'll be able to follow the letters that I will discuss. So let's move forward. Now, again, make sure you got those positions so that you could follow the letter movements for this uh, uh, assignment of letters. So for violin, just remember these constant letters. For violin, you go with the open strings first. You got a G here, always a G here, a D here, an A, and an E string here. All right. Now for ukulele, always constant open strings. You go with G on the thickest string, C on the next one, E, and then A. So it's just an open string. You don't need to press anything. Just pluck it openly, and this will be the sound, G, C, E, and A. For guitar, the thickest string would be E followed by A, and then D, and then G to the thinnest, B, and to the E. For bass guitar, bass would only be up to this uh, letter G. It's four string. For those who have four string bass guitars, the very common bass guitar will just end with this string for bass. But for the advanced bass players, you will have those uh, more strings. We could uh, have some other links to expand your range. But for this video, we will just uh, have the four strings bass and going E, A, D, and G. The thickest is E, next is A, D, and then G. Now, remember how those letters are applied on the piano? Same thing goes with the stringed instruments. Remember the skips? The B and C don't have a skip. So they are beside each other. Also E and F, they don't have a skip. So again, if you'd like to take a screenshot on this illustration for you to uh, remember or to master the concept, just take a pause or do a screenshot. 
and uh, have this as uh, you can pull out anytime. So we got an E and F, no skip. We got a B and C, no skip. So the same concept is like uh, we go with one string here. We got the G string, open G. There's a skip between G and A. Then we go A here, skip between them. We got a B here and B and C don't have a skip. Same thing with ukulele, uh, E and F, no skip. E and F, B and C, and the rest have skips on the frets. Now, if you go further, as we are uh, doing the skips now, let's have the sharps and the flats. For violin, there these two are the same. It's just that this is uh, with the flats and this is with the sharps. So when you go G, the skip is G sharp if you refer it to G. But if you refer it to A, this skip is A flat in between G and A. And in between A and B, if you refer it to B going down, it's B flat. And if uh, here, A and B, it's A sharp going up or, yeah, going forward away from the head of the violin. So these are the letters. And also for guitar, same thing goes. In between F and G, the skip. If we refer it from F going up, it's F sharp or G going down or going back to the uh, near the head area. It's the G flat. All right. And same thing goes with the other letters. So again, you can take a screenshot or pause on this part so that you'll be able to master the letter concepts. Same thing applies with the ukulele. Just remember the open strings. These are your foundation. Open strings as your foundation and the skips would go so on and so forth for the letters. Now let's proceed. And as we go on for the beginning levels of those who are uh, starting with the piano or starting with the ukulele, guitar, uh, bass, or violin, we will have this final topic before we will apply this concept to our uh, song, Holy Forever. Now, major scale, I would just like to highlight this pattern. Anyway, this might be hard at first, but for the rest of the songs, we will be applying this major scale. So uh, just remember this formula or pattern. We got a root. W, W, H, W, 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 H. You would like to memorize or you would like to take a screenshot on this. You could memorize, but don't worry. Uh, we will be uh, having a summary of the letters that you'll be playing, the group of letters that you'll be, uh, be playing only for the song. Now, when you see the W, it's two-step intervals. And half-step or H, it's just one-step interval. Now, you will see better as I move on with the next illustration. So for the song Hold It Forever, it says the key signature is on F. So it will make sense now if you will apply the major scale pattern that I discussed earlier as we move on to uh, how it looks like. So just a quick discussion for major scale. So we got a root here, a root where it goes with uh, F as our key signature or the root. And then you see the W, we need to skip one key before we got the other key W. Skip and then W, remember W, two, uh, two steps or two intervals. And then H has no distance in between. And then going W again, there's a distance in between. Another W, another W, and an H. So this is how major scale looks like. And if you move on to other key signatures, you'll be able to get the right letters. But for the major scale or for the song, Holy Forever with the major scale F or the key signature, we'll just focus on this um, main letters. Uh, root is on F, whole step up is G, whole step further is A, half step or H is just B flat or A sharp. Skip to another hole, we got a C, another hole is D, another hole is E, and a half step on F. Now, if we summarize that, again, you can take a screenshot on this, you could focus on these letters. This will be the eight letters that your song will be rolling on or this are just the focus letters that you'll be playing later with either the pink letters or the small letters all of the letters on this song will just be rotating with this one unless there will be special letters to be added but the rest of it just focus on practicing f g a b flat or a sharp c d e f and so on and so forth it goes to a cycle so if you'd like to practice, just focus on this 
seven to eight letters. Focus on this, and if you will master this, you'll be good to go with your song. Now for the piano, you'll just have these letters, F, G, A, A sharp or B flat, C, D, E, and continue with the others, same drill. And if you would like to make it easier, you can just play with one hand using uh, using different fingers, not just one finger. When you press an F with the thumb, make sure you don't press the same thumb with G. Press with another finger and another finger on A, like pointing finger on G, thumb on F, middle finger on A, ring finger on this one, and then pinky on this one, and try to jump with other fingers. Make sure you don't use one finger for the piano. And if you'd like to use the left hand, they will just be the same. If you're pressing an F on the right hand, you still press F on the left hand, the same letter, if you would like to use both hands. But as a starting uh, learner, you can start with just one hand, then eventually move on with both hands, same letters. All right, and then let's move on. For guitar, bass, ukulele, and violin, take note of these letters. Again, as our uh, as our technology arises and with the methods of screenshots, you always take note of uh, important things. So you can go screenshot with this one, focus on these circled letters for violin. Say this are these two are just the same. It's just that these are flats and these are sharps. And then for uh, guitar and bass, take note of this highlighted letters. This will be the letters that you will play for the entire song, Holy Forever. Ukulele also for the highlighted pink. These are the circled pink letters. And these are for the violin. So yes, again, you can review this picture or review this portion of the video so that you will be able to identify what uh, letters are you playing. Again, this uh, is an upright violin position. This is an upside down uh, position for the bass or the guitar. And then this is uh, yeah, up, up, right, upside down position also for ukulele. Uh, it's facing you. The frets are facing you, not facing uh, away from you. Yes. So for uh, song application, this is how we play it. You press F if the song asks you to play an F. Play F with the word all. And another word all, you play B flat. After believe, you play an F. So you just follow the sequence of the words with the letters. For uh, for this D minor, if, if you got a small letter M, just don't mind because this small letter M we will discuss on the next learning video with chords. But for this time, you just have a D. Don't play the, uh, don't, don't mind the other symbols. Just play a D here. And then the C, and then the B flat after the word lamb. C, you will play in between the uh, syllables of A, Jess. So you'll play uh, C after the word A, C, and then Jess. All right. And then with the sing is D, with all is F, with another all is B flat. This is the easiest way to play the song. Just play with the pink letters. These are a few letters that you could play along with the song as a beginning learner. Also, for the singers, this time now, this is the instruction for the singers. You'll just sing along with the lyrics and listen to the melody of the song. That's the beginning level of how you do your singing task for this uh, song. But now, if you'd like to upgrade and if you'd like to go further, you could play with the piano or the guitar or the bass guitar or the violin or the ukulele by pressing these letters or making this letter sound as what we have discussed a while ago. So you press with these letters while you sing. And then when you say all who've gone before us and all, you press the word all, uh, you press the word, uh, you press the B flat while you say the word all. After the word believe, you press F. That's if you'd like to go further challenge. But again, if it's hard, just focus on listening to the right tunes and sing along with the right uh, pitch. And that's how you start learning uh, your vo voice lesson. Sing with the right tunes. Okay. And then for uh, the beginning instrument uh, players, just focus on these pink letters. And yes, if you, if you find, oh, this is very easy. I can play the song right away. That's very good. 
So uh, this time, if you find it easy and you can finish the entire song by playing the pink letters, it's time to upgrade. This time you follow the small letters. Yeah, it's a bit, um, it's, it's a lot more than the pink letters. And this small letters you play in every word or every syllable that you hear. So like all who've gone before us, you go A, 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 G, G, F. All right. A, 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 G, G, F. It's not just uh, like uh, waiting for this uh, set of words, but this time it's every syllable or every word. It should have these letters or you should play a letter whenever uh, each word or syllable is mentioned in the song. So if you'd like a little challenge, follow uh, these small letters. Either you do for piano, both hands, the same letters. And for the other instrument, guitar, bass guitar, ukulele, or violin, just follow these letters and you'll be able to play the melody of the song. All right. So uh, again, use the symbols and the th concepts and th theory that uh, we discussed a while ago so that you'll be uh, able to play the song. And before I let you practice for those beginning levels, or for the beginning or the intermediate levels. Remember, if it's too fast, you can always go to the settings of YouTube and you go to the playback speed of YouTube and you click here, the playback speed, and then it gives you these options and you try to go 0 0.5 speed so that it will be uh, slower, not that fast like the normal speed. If you want to uh, be able to play along with the music uh, on the right time, you could start 0 0.5 speed. And if you find, oh, I got this, you can move now to 0 0.75. And if you say, oh, I got this again, the aim is normal speed. All right. So that will be your uh, main uh, way of doing and playing along with the song. So uh, for the beginning levels, this is your time to practice now. Uh, you could uh, pause or stop the video if you find that the information or the, the theory and concepts that I discussed is just right for you this time. You can pause or stop the video and start uh, clicking the link of Holy Forever that's sent along with this video. And continue with your uh, task for the song and try to play along the entire song. Yes, you can um, pause and stop. But for those who are still on the advanced or intermediate level who would like to uh, continue and go further, if they find the theory or the concepts that I discussed a while ago is a bit easy or they're achievable, now let's continue the learning video with this next further concepts. And then we will be able to finish uh, playing the song wonderfully for Holy Forever. Now, these are... Uh, the next concept first is the upper thirds. Now, again, we discussed that it will be single or double letters. For upper thirds, this will be now your uh, this will be your harmony. This will be your harmony that you will play along with the basic melody. If you think like, oh, I can play the melody now, very easy. This is now a little challenge for you. So let's discuss the upper thirds. Now we are referring to F major scale. So we got these letters again. Remember these letters. And when we're talking of upper thirds, just remember this concept. If we got this F, G, A, B, flat, C, D, E, F as our main uh, part of the major scale, the only way to get the upper thirds is just to skip a letter and then get to the other one. So we got F, you skip G, A is its upper third. And then G, skip A, B flat is its upper third. And then A, you skip B flat, C is it is its upper third, uh, upper third, and then so on and so forth with the other letters. You can see the combinations here. If you'd like again to screenshot, just take note of this one. And now uh you could uh, continue uh with uh these movement of uh the thirds. So just take note of the distances. So if if we try to apply this on our uh song, like if if the song moves like uh, a, 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 G, G, F. If the melody, the small letters, goes around with A, 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 G, G, F, you can play with the upper thirds that says C, 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 B flat, A. Pairing with A, 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 G, G, F. A is paired with C, C, C. And then G, G is paired with 
B flat, B flat, F is played paired with A. So again, the melody is A, 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 G, G, F. You blend or harmonize with C, 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 B flat, A, depending on how it's um, uh, been given to the lyrics or the melody guide on our play along video. So you use that as, an, as a harmony for your play. If you find the melody, oh, I, I finished the melody, the, the, the melody, the main melody of the song. So uh, the, remember this concept. And next is the lower harmony. This is the last topic. And this will be uh, your uh, another option for you to play along with your instrument. If, if you could catch up with playing the upper thirds with the lower harmony, that would be amazing. But I suggest you could just choose either upper thirds or lower harmony for your play. And then for um for for the singers also you could sing and um play along or like sing with the harmony while the instrument players will play with the upper thirds harmony so for lower harmony just remember this is a uh, a seven and play uh template of lower harmony where this letters just remember again you can do screenshot if you'd like to also play with this lower harmony just take note of these letters Whenever uh, you be, again, the, the example is A, 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 G, G, F. You could go with A, play with F, 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 D, D, C. Again, if the melody goes A, 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 G, G, F, you could play along with F, 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 D, D, C. And the rest of the other melodies you can play along. Just refer to this uh, group of letters. These are... Uh, mix and match by seven and play. So you can use these combinations if you'd like to play lower harmony. For the singers also, you can sing along with these letters as an advanced singing for like um it's, it's blending or building a harmony for your melody. So yes, and uh, if we try to uh, look at this on the song, again, as I have discussed a while ago, we go A, 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 G, G, F. Now, remember your lower third harmony f f f uh f f f d d c okay so this uh, lyrics now you will be able to do like a choir like when you apply it on your voice because you will be singing uh, that from the beginning up to the end of the song now what the what we do on the singers is that uh we will have some who will sing the upper thirds and some will sing the lower thirds some will sing the melody and you will be amazed of the result of your harmony. And for the instruments also, some would be playing the upper thirds, some would be playing the lower thirds, and it builds a lot of good and wonderful uh, music with those harmonies, either upper thirds or lower third harmony. So yeah, take note of those combinations. Uh, for the upper third and lower third harmony, you focus more on the small letters. Small letters, all right? Small letters, not much of the pink letters. Small letters, if you'd like to apply the upper thirds or the lower harmony. So yes, these and uh, these concepts that I discussed, this will be what you need to play along with your song. So if you need to review something or if you need to check uh, the previous concept, just um, rewind this video, pause and play, pause and play until you get the concept and you'll be able to apply it on the song holy forever so yeah enjoy your practice uh, explore and be amazed of how harmony works and how the melody works and how the uh, pink letters work with the single letters only and enjoy and be blessed with the song holy forever god bless